Hello everyone, this is Dear from Main Academy. This video is the second episode of the basic theorems related to the accumulation of the limit points. Today the theorem is if x and tau is a topological space and there are two subsets of x, let's say a and b, then a union b prime is equal to a prime union b prime. This is the theorem which states that the union of the accumulation set of the two sets that are different from each other and a subset of x, accumulation set of A union accumulation set of B is eventually equal to the union of A and B and the accumulation of that set. So for this we have to prove two parts. The very first part is that A union B prime is a subset of A union A accumulation union B accumulation set and the second is A accumulation set union B accumulation set is a subset of A union B accumulation set. Now heading towards the proof of the first part our target is the accumulation set A union the accumulation set B is a subset of A union B and the accumulation set of this union. Now we have to pick a random element from the set this that a belongs to A prime union B prime. So this implies that by the property of union that A belong to the set of accumulation of A and also A is a part of the accumulation set of B. So we'll use the definition of the limiter accumulation point for all of the open neighborhoods of that point A the intersection of U and A other than that point is not empty and we will use the same definition for the set B for all of the open neighborhoods of that point A the intersection of U and the accumulation set B intersection and other than A is not equal to that empty set. Now let's take union of the both of them. So U intersection A the point A and union with U intersection B other than the set A. So we will simplify this uh, by taking that set or the point A common. This is equal to U intersection A and union U intersection B and other than that set the point A. And we can also write it as U intersection A union B other than the point A. So by taking the union of this U intersection A other than the, po uh, the point A and the U intersection B other than the point A is eventually simplified in this form that U intersection A union B other than the point A. If we let A union B is equal to C, that is if C is equal to A union B, then this definition is true for the set C, that C is the accumulation set and A belong to the accumulation set C. So we can write it as U intersection C other than that point A. So this is the definition of the accumulation point for the set C which means that A belongs to the accumulation set C. That intersection of the set A and the open set U that contains A other than A is not an empty set and for this as well. If this is not an empty set and this is not an empty set then the union of this is also not an empty set. 
so this is not an empty set as well that is why a belongs to the accumulation set c and this is equal to a union b accumulation set because c is equal to a union b and if a belongs to the accumulation set c then c is a part of a union b accumulation set so eventually we have proved that so if we pick a point a random point from the accumulation set of a union b then eventually that point is also a member of a union b accumulation set that initially we take a point from this set and by applying the definitions of the accumulation point and we have proved that a is also a member of this so we have proved that a accumulation set union b accumulation set is a subset of the union accumulation set of a and b so we have proved the first part now moving toward the second part now we have to prove that a union b accumulation set is a subset of a accumulation union b accumulation set so we will pick a random element let a belong to a union b accumulation set and we will apply the definition of the accumulation set here that a union b intersection with an open set u for all of the open sets that contains a a is a member of that u intersection of them other than that point a is not empty by using the definition so let's make an assumption that a is not a part of of a accumulation set and a is also not a part of the b accumulation set so for this there exists an open set u that is open set u contains the point and intersection of that set with a other than that point is empty because a is not a point point or is not a member of the accumulation set and same thing with with this a if a is not a part or a is not a member of the accumulation set b then there must exist an open set u such that the intersection of of that set and b other than the point a is equal to the empty set so for this and this condition the two sets have to be different from each other so let's say this is a set u1 and this is a set or open set u2 and we can define a set u that is equal to u1 union u2 so there is a set u that is equal to the union of of these open sets u1 and u2 home intersection with a here and b here other than the point a is an empty set and we know that a is a part or member of u1 and a is a part or the member of u2 as well so if a is a member of u1 and a is a member of u2 then this information implies that a is also a member of u and u1 is an open set u2 is an open set which implies that u is also an open set a belongs to u and u is an open set now we will use the definition of u that we have defined that u is equal to the union of u1 and u2 so this will be a union b and intersection with here u can be u1 union u2 other than the set the point a so a has an open set u1 and b has an open set u2 so we can write it as a intersection u1 a intersection u1 that union b intersection u2 other than the set a and a intersection u1 
we can also write it as other than the set A and this union B intersection with U2 other than the set A as U1 is a set that intersects with A other than A and the answer is an open set because a belongs to u1 and a does not belong to the accumulation set of p so this is equal to an open set and same the case with this this is also equal to an open set so the union of the open sets is also an open set so this whole thing is equal to an open set but this is derived from the set a union b intersection u and other than the set, other than the point A, is not an empty set. But by using the assumptions that U is equal to U1 intersection U2, and A is not an accumulation set, B prime is not an accumulation set, that A does not belong to the B prime, and A does not belong to A prime, we have proved that this set is equal to an open set. But this is different from what we have proved from this from the definition this implies that this is a contradiction and our supposition was wrong thus a belongs to the accumulation set a and a also belong to the accumulation set b and this information implies that a also belong to the accumulation set of of this of this union so we have started the journey from this that a belongs to a union b the accumulation set and by assuming that a does not belong to the accumulation set and a does not belong to the b accumulation set we have we come up with the contradiction and which implies that our, our assumption was wrong and a eventually belongs to this and a also belongs to the accumulation set of b and eventually a belongs to a accumulation set union B accumulation set and we have proved that if A is a part of this set then also is a part of this set and all of the information implies that A union B accumulation is a subset of A accumulation B accumulation set so this is the second part that we have proved and from the first part we have proved that A is a subset of, of this set so both of the information implies that a union b accumulation set eventually is equal to a accumulation union b accumulation set so we have in two parts so this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch the upcoming videos so we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye